Hey guys, John here. Welcome back to the course, How to Use Zebra HC. This is video 18, and today we're talking about ring modulation. So let's right click here and go to init preset. And ring modulation is basically a form of amplitude modulation or AM. Now it's kind of cool for metallic -y sounds, bell sounds, and even kind of some key sounds if you kind of get creative with it. So underneath this first oscillator here, let's click one of these empty cells and add ring down over here. Now we have two of these. Now you'll notice once we activate this, we don't really see a module pop up because we don't necessarily really need one. So for this demonstration, we're going to make something kind of cool here. So oscillator number one, let's move this to the second lane here and mute the second lane. For the first lane, let's select an FMO. And for this type of sound with RM, you kind of really want to do sine waves because you're going to get some really cool results that way. So right now, if we play some notes, we have a sine wave. Let's disable this here. We still have a sine wave, but just a little bit louder. So what we need to do, let's right click this ring here and let's go to sidechain two. So we're getting the input and mixing these two together. Now what we need to do is go to the oscillator number one and change that to a sine wave by clicking here on the preset and going to sine tree. And let's go to the tune here and let's maybe bring this up by about two octaves. So 24 semitones up here. Now we might be thinking, okay, we have two sine waves, we have two harmonics here, so a fundamental and maybe something else, right? So if you unmute this and disable the ring and have both of these play, the same notes, they're actually going to be different. And this is kind of the interesting spot of making these type of sounds here. So let's enable the ring again and mute the second lane. So we have this sound here and let's increase our output a little bit. And this is where the fun comes in. So we have our sine wave from our FMO, and we know that because down here in the panel, we have a sine wave selected here. Now for the first oscillator here, here's basically our sine tree. So now we can draw in specific harmonics and kind of build our sound upon ring modulation. So already we're kind of making almost a metallic -y sound, right? So based on this, what we're just using here, if we drop down our sustain here, make kind of a quick decay plucky thing. And maybe in our global here, let's turn the transpose from negative 12 to zero. Maybe bring our output up just a little bit here. And this is gonna be cool to add some type of effects here. So it's kind of a quick release here. So let's increase that a little bit here. And let's go to our global effects here and maybe add a little bit of delay, which we're going to be talking about a little bit later on in the course here. So I guess delay two is fine. That's whatever. Okay, let's increase our mix here. And maybe from one over four to go one over eight here. And maybe for the other side, one over eight dotted might be kind of cool. So it kind of bounces around through the speakers. Maybe increase our feedback. And a little bit of our mix here. And then maybe a little bit of low pass. So the delays are a little bit more dull. And then now we could just add some reverb that might be kind of cool. So add a rev one over here. Increase our dry and just kind of dial in our wet here. So already we're kind of getting a bell sound. And we can increase the volume here on our envelope. And if we can drop the octave back to negative 12 here. So if we play those kind of keys, it's going to be a little inharmonic. And in that case, we can always go back to the first oscillator here and kind of hold down alt and kind of remove some of these harmonics. It's going to be a little kind of inharmonic, but this is going to be the spot where you have to get creative and kind of just...
and kind of just really play with the harmonics and kind of dial that in right there. So definitely good for inharmonic metallic -y sounds. And somehow I was able to come up with one of these dark keys here. And let's take a look at this here. So these are going to be the harmonics I use basics based on this type of concept here. And we can even build upon this as well. We can increase some vibrato here. And change the speed from one second, increase the rate somewhere around here. Add some delay here. So yeah, that's just some of the possibilities of ring modulation. It's very cool. Definitely a very perfect strategy for using bell type of sounds or coming up with something like this, but you really have to pick your harmonics carefully because it can get out of control pretty quick. I mean, that's kind of nice. But yeah, so definitely play around with it. It's very fun to, to make some cool patches with it. Hopefully you learned something. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.